Hey, AD. Is it Architectural Digest? No, it's just me. Maybe we can submit it. If yeah, we could submit it. Come on in. So this is my foyer. I kind of spruced up this this place since the last time you saw it. Um, this uh, is a wreath. So then you come up the stairs, and this is when the place really opens up. And it's like now we have this chandelier that I got. No, that came with. That, oh, funny story. So that was a working fire alarm. It started chirping, like in the middle of the night. And this is, I don't know, this is like a 10 foot kind of situation. And so I had to, I smashed it with a Swiffer. Um, so, and then it, now it doesn't do anything. Um, so then this is the litter box actually. Um, you know, don't wanna just show you too much because that's kind of gross, but this was a cabinet from Ikea, I think it was like one of those like over the fridge cabinets. I put legs on it, I put new knobs on it, I cut a hole in it. So, you know, with an apartment you gotta do a little smoke and mirrors situation. But, um, so then I kind of tried to spruce it up. I got this stuff from Target, some of my pottery here. We have, as you can see, you're like, wait, you have two purses? No, this is the real one, this one I made. And I'm gonna put a plant in it, but so far I just put mail in it. Uh, I made this a while ago. It's not very good, but it kind of spruces up the place. And this is the living room. So when I moved in here, I really, what sold me on the place was how open and airy and like all the windows and light and I really wanted it to feel, um, you know, very welcoming, but while still being homey and lived in, but I didn't want it to be too cluttered because I really liked the kind of open air about it. So it took me a while to kind of figure it out, but I really feel like this whole space represents my style. This couch I've had for a while, it's not my favorite in terms of you know, aesthetics. Uh, so instead of buying a new couch, which is very expensive, I, um, you know, just accented it with some throw pillows. These are block shop textile. And this is a BFGF throw blanket, which honestly changed the whole game. It made the whole, it tied the whole living room together, in my opinion. Uh, this was a birthday gift from my mom. This table was a huge upgrade for me from West Elm. It was on sale, but I really like how it has this um, section here for books. I can kind of display some of my, you know, coffee table books. I have some ceramic books that my brother got me. I have uh, some photography books of my favorite photographers, William Eggleston, Jurgen Teller. This is a new addition. I haven't put anything in it yet because I'm not really sure what to do with it, but this is from Abigail Vintage. I'm really into seashells as you'll, you'll C, S E A, but um, this is a seashell bowl. I have this little ashtray that I made. Um, this place is kind of like peppered with some of my ceramics and some ceramics from friends or other artists that I really like. This is another piece that's really special to me. This is a collaboration between uh, two artists that I love, Rachel Saunders and May Moore Studio. And they have like seashells and broken ceramic pieces, um, just kind of like you know, mosaic pattern on this vase, and I, I love it so, so much. I really like super, like, light-hearted material. Just, like, things that really make you, like, feel good and, you know, just, like, kick back. This media table is actually a cool story. I made this, or I refurbed it, I repurposed it. I, I had just moved to LA and I was so dirt poor I had no money to furnish my apartment and I saw this on the street. This was just natural wood, just unfinished planter box. And so I took it home, I stained it, I painted the inside, I put some hairpin legs on it and I tried to sell it because I had no money like I said but no bites and so I ended up keeping it and I really love it so honestly Joke's on whoever didn't buy it, because it's nice. This chair I also refinished. Um, I really loved the mid-century style. So I found this chair on 
Craigslist for $40. I drove like an hour away. I literally picked it up from a strange man's apartment. I went in there. Don't recommend this is like the worst idea, but it worked out in my case because um, I'm still here to live and tell about it. Um, but this was a really ugly chair. It was like light wood. It was really kind of shitty and it was a gold leather. Um, oh, oh, okay. This is a corner of my home that I spend absolutely no time in, but I really love it's one of my favorite spots because I feel like it just fully represents me. It has a lot of like my favorite little knickknacks and things, and it just looks really cute. Mostly wizard or maybe lays back here, um, and that's good enough for me. I mean, at least it's being used. This chair was um, is an actually mid-century chair, so I just put a uh, blanket on it that my boyfriend got me uh, in Vietnam, I think. Ow. Okay, this is from Urban Outfitters. It's like a leaning shelf. I really loved the idea of kind of like putting a lot of different things on it and having like plants cascading down. This is one of my prized possessions because this is a pothos that I propagated. And every day I like to come and see how she's doing and she's really thriving. So yeah, a lot of this has like some of my favorite pieces, my favorite like collectibles. Um, these are bookends from an Instagram called Casa Shop. This, okay, told you you'd see a lot more seashells, and the best is yet to come. Um, I got this off Etsy, it says 89. So someone made this in the 80s. Um, it's a shell vase. Oh, I love you. Um, these I got off Etsy. These are like mid-century acrylic um, grapes. And if you don't have a set of these, then I literally cannot help you. Some of these dishes, these actually, these two broken ones here, my boyfriend got me. They're one of a kind. He got them in Vietnam, I think, and I broke them. Anyway. Uh, what? This is you my what? grandfather. Okay, we're moving on. He's dead. Some more seashells. I got these from this place in Morro Bay called The Shell Shop. It's an amazing destination. If you've never gone, you gotta go because it's shell heaven if you also love shells. I made both of these planters. Um, they're gorgeous. This is my formal dining area. Um, this place isn't really, isn't really conducive for like a full table and chair set. Like I really could have done like a little small bistro type thing, but I really like the option of being able to have people over for dinner, so there are times where I'll kind of pull this out and everyone will sit, um, but I really love it. This is mostly day to day, this is just Wizard's favorite spot to sleep. I had a few uh, mishaps with this chair. <laughs> I'll link uh, the DIY fail video up here, but I really tried to. You know, I, I have a history with refurbing things and that one just did not work out, so I ended up buying this and I really love it. One of the first handmade pieces that I made, um, so I didn't throw this on the wheel, I hand coil built this because I had the vision of this cloud base that was gonna be for the middle of this table and I really love this so much because my exact vision came to life. This is my kitchen. <laughs> This is where I keep my cat. The thing about this kitchen is that it is very narrow and long. It's kind of like a shotgun kitchen, but I love it so much because my last kitchen, while very cute, was not functional at all. Um, and this one has like new appliances. They have a garbage disposal. I have a dishwasher. I have a working oven and stove. And that is like the biggest upgrade you can imagine when you're living without it and then suddenly you have it. It's life changing. Um, so because this didn't have a lot of uh, cabinet space, like all the cabinets are down here, I put these up. Um, you know, I just went to like Lowe's or Home Depot and got these and this is where I keep kind of like all my random things. I have some cups I made, some cups other people made. This is a bowl I made. I wanted a big bowl to put fresh fruit and veggies in and so I made this and I really love how it turned out and I do. I keep some fresh fruit in there. I always randomly have garlic in there because you never know when you're going to need that. Um, right now I have apples. 
because I really do like to cook. I, I'm not, you know, a, a chef and I'm not really good at cooking, but I do love to cook for myself and others, so I do that often. Um, oh, God bless. Um, this is my Great Jones Dutch oven. It is pink, as you can see. You can make soups in here. You can roast a goddamn chicken. You can put anything in here, and it will be delicious. Um, I got some cookbooks back here, but we got Thug Kitchen, we got Momofuku Milk Bar, we got Chrissy Teigen's Cravings. I have made a lot of things out of here and it's all delicious. And we have the Squirrel Cookbook. This is a popular restaurant. We got, oh, okay, I see what you did. You were over here zhuzhing up the fridge. Oh, sorry, fridge. Was that, were you trying to hide those? No, I'm just like, that's a little narcissistic of you. Do you think? Well, I just like had a bunch of other stuff here and then suddenly you were in here like mixing stuff around and now it's just pictures of us. Okay, well you had like bills and stuff. <sighs> because that's where I need to see them and now that I have to pay my bills. Okay, well what about our relationship? I don't have to be reminded of that. So this is my bathroom, another uh, shotgun situation. Come all the way back. Here. It is a little bit of an awkward situation where the mirror's here and the sink's here. But this is where I do all of my skincare. I got these little shelves off of of a kind. And this is like all of my skincare. This is kind of everything I use every single day. You know, like toothbrush, um, toothpaste, use that stuff a lot. <laughs> this is my favorite spot of my bathroom because I put these shelves up for some extra space because I have a lot of skincare, I have a lot of beauty products, I needed a place to put them and I love them to be all on display. I want to look at them. So we got my hair stuff over here, we got a lot of face products, we have just a mess of stuff. We've got some q-tips in here, I keep my washcloths and muslin cloths that I like to take my makeup off with. In here we have sheet masks. These are sheet masks. Um, and pimple patches. This is where I keep like backups of skincare. Like we have the Rene Rolo mask. So when I run out of something that I use often, um, it's usually in there as a backup. And this is my favorite room in the house. I love my bedroom so much. It's teeny tiny but it's so cozy. I love the lighting at like this time of day, the way the sun kind of comes in. Ugh! My last apartment was a studio so I lived, ate, worked, and slept in the same spot and I love having this room as a designated area for winding down and sleeping. I really only spend my nights in here and my mornings. I I'm obsessed with this color, this bedding color scheme. I really had my eye on um, some linen bedding, but as you know that they're very expensive. Kind of did a half and half situation. I got these kind of sand colored duvet. This is not linen, but I got this at Urban Outfitters. But I paired it with some actual linen mustard pillow cases. So it's like a little mix of high and low. This bed, I also love, it's from um, CB2. It is a linen, like upholstered bed, so maybe does like laying on this and it does get cat hair all over it. So you do have to kind of lid roll it, but what are you gonna do? This dresser was one of my successful refurb projects, although now there's like marks all over it, so I have to repaint it, I don't know what that's about. But I'll leave the link up here if you want to see how I did it, but I really love how this turned out. This is my closet. This is a very, very, very small closet, especially for someone who loves clothes. I make it work, but you know, it's not the dream closet. All of my jeans, I have a jeans addiction. I can't stop buying them. All the way back here, we have my merch, you remember? Oh! <laughs> we have my merch uh, that, you know, I just like to keep for... Memories. This is a little game we like to play. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Alright, watch your paws. So I wanted to keep the decor really simple. Maybe, oh my god. No, 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 no. I wanted to keep the decor really simple in my room because I didn't want it to, I wanted it to feel like a very calm and serene space. 
So I kept most of the walls blank. I have this print. This is from Urban Outfitters. Um, that's me. And that's also me. Over here, this is where I do my makeup. This is where the magic happens. Um, I try and keep this as organized as possible, but as you can imagine, I am constantly getting new things in and it's really hard to stay organized. I've just recently gone through everything and um, donated or gave away some extra things that I don't need. So this is mostly everything that I love and use. I have all of my scrunchies back here. I have so many and I don't know what to do with them all. To be honest so they just kind of live crammed back here <laughs> okay the moment you've been waiting for this is my latest addition to my bedroom and it really ties in the whole space and when the light comes in like this I mean have you ever seen anything more gorgeous this you guessed it is from the shell shop I walked in and I saw this and I thought how ridiculous is that I have to have it, there's no question. It reminds me of like what would be hanging in a Florida retiree's house. You know, just a lot of wicker, a lot of this stuff, and, and that's just exactly what my vibe is. These are natural colored shells. These are not dyed, they're gorgeous. And look at the detail, I mean, just, I can't get enough. So this is my nightstand, um, excuse me. I actually bought this off of Wayfair, uh, sorry, not this, I got this at Apple, uh, I got this at Wayfair, and I put the same knobs as the ones on my dresser on it. It looked exactly like my dresser, even though I did not make this one. I put the same knobs on it, and now it looks like a set. So that was genius on my part. And uh, my boyfriend got me this, uh... What is it? It's a wireless charger. The wireless charger. This is a gorgeous candle by Dia Sandurga. I'm a, I'm a candle head, you know, the more expensive the better. <laughs> I don't know why. I just, there's something about it. You tell me, you could redo a Yankee candle if you're like, this was $70. I'd be like, oh, well, I have to have it. We got some stuff in here. What do we got? Okay, so I'm a big, big fan of aromatherapy um, for anxiety. So we got, <laughs> got a lot of oils in here. We got some incense, we got some Nad Champa, sometimes you want to smell like you're in a head shop. We've got some Willita Skin Food Laneige Sleeping Mask, Glossier, Rose Balm, Bite Beauty, a vape. <laughs> yeah, so that's my apartment. I feel like I've really kind of come into my own here um, when I first moved in. It was very different and now it's like over time I've updated this and added this here and it feels very grown up and it feels very me and it feels like my sanctuary and I don't like anybody else being in it and I don't like men in it especially. So I'm really gonna need you to leave because I'm getting really anxious. Like as you can see, this is like a very clean feminine space and it is kind of honestly crowding me right now. So I really need you to go. Get your things. No, yeah. Unlock the door and get out. What the fuck?